Only on 11 Alive, Georgia's Lieutenant Governor Burt Jones is speaking about the threat of a criminal indictment hanging over him in Fulton County. It's for allegedly working with fellow supporters of then President Donald Trump to try and overturn his loss in Georgia in the 2020 election. Now, 19 people were indicted last month on felony charges along with the former president, but Jones is being investigated separately and could still be charged. Now, Jones insists what he did and what the others did with him was not illegal. He spoke to our John Shirick. Georgia Lieutenant Governor Burt Jones at this event in Atlanta, telling me that he is still waiting to find out if a special prosecutor has been selected yet to investigate him in the same election interference case that's already resulted in criminal indictments against former President Donald Trump and 18 others. You know, my lawyer is, has been uh, uh, talking to uh, the agency that's looking at it. Nothing new to report on that. Jones does not dispute what he did after Trump's loss in the 2020 election, when as a state senator he helped organize the Georgia GOP alternate electors for Trump and called for a special session of the legislature to contest Trump's loss and traveled to Washington, prepared to try to convince then Vice President Mike Pence to delay the January 6th Electoral College vote count. I asked Jones what was different about his involvement compared with that of others who have already been indicted. All he was doing, he says, was trying to establish if Trump really lost. You know, I mean, we've talked, to this, uh, talked about this numerous times. I mean, the, what, what people were doing, and this isn't something that's new. People were asking questions about elections. Uh, Stacey Abrams did it in 2018. Hillary Clinton claimed it in 2016. But uh, to take it to this length and trying to accuse individuals being criminals, I think is a little much. Jones is asking online for donations, quote, to stop Fonnie Willis, the Fulton County DA prosecuting the election interference case. Obviously, I, I think this is a waste of taxpayer money. Uh, I think it's an abuse of power. Burt Jones just waiting now to find out if he'll be indicted too and ready with his defense. What was the criminal activity that went on for asking questions? In Atlanta, John Shearick, 11 Alive News.